it is book club time and Kathy from Brain Lair Books is joining us. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Ronnie. Kathy, we're done with this book. Woo! We did it. We struggled, Finally. but we made it through. We did struggle. Okay, Kathy, overall, what did you take away from this book? That we are so disconnected from life around us and mm -hmm. each other, and we need to find our way back to nature and to connecting with people. Yeah, that's basically what I took away too, Kathy. Just what did you say? Honoring, you know, the, our nature around us, treating it as kind of like a being, like they said in the book, exactly. versus an object. Yes. And you know, I loved it because this is not like my go-to type of book. Same. So it really made me Very like get out of so. my comfort zone. So you know, it was a great book, Kathy. It was great. We did it though. We but did. We did. High five, Kathy. Woohoo! It right. was a struggle, but it, I think people should know that too. Sometimes. You struggle through something and you make yeah. it though, and you take away what you take away from it. Yeah, like, I did. I will say, uh -huh. in the real world, I never recommend struggling through it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I say, because then it turns you off it from does. reading, yeah. and I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I was trying to, I had to talk to the hometown living team. They had to help me, Kathy, and I know you helped me as well, so. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. Thanks, everyone. You it guys takes awesome. a village. That's what she's saying, though. <laughs> it does. That's what she's so saying. So I applied what I learned to the book with the team. Great. I learned a lot in this book. <laughs> okay, Kathy, let's move on. We have another book. <laughs> let's talk about our new book, Kathy. All right, so our new book. So one thing I'll tell you is I don't read the books before you read the books. Oh. We read this book together. Yeah, like, okay. I am not going ahead. And do Thank you. That. That's... Use my resources to pick the book, but that's mm -hmm. about it. So, The Water Outlaws is women assassins. Okay. It is gender swap sometimes mm -hmm. in parts of it. So, it's looking at gender, it's looking at um, sexuality, it's just looking at a lot of different things in terms of fantasy, though, which oh. is my go to. Yeah. If I ever choose a book, it's fantasy romance. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be. Let's, okay. let's be clear. Thank you, Kathy. It is romance. Um, so that's what we're doing here. And I love, I have several different books that star women as the assassins mm -hmm. who go out and do the killing and the fighting. And this is based on a true, uh, it's not true myth. This is based on a <laughs> myth um, from Asian mythology. And so we have that too. So we get a little bit of history in there, um, but woven into what we're reading. And that way okay. it kind of... That's what I like about fiction. It helps you build empathy with different types of people mm -hmm. because it's going to weave all that stuff into it. And even though you're learning about someone else, you also kind of feel where you're connected okay. with them as you're going. Oh, through. that's okay. That's exciting. Okay, so I think I'm going to be able to do this book, oh, right, you, Kathy? Yes, sure we got will. this. Okay, so what is our reading schedule like okay. for this one? Okay, I did send it to Jesse. We're doing four weeks, four and weeks. it's only like a hundred, a little over a hundred pages per each one. The book is about 470 pages, so I did it about 120 pages. Some might be a little shorter, some a little longer, but to make it into the four weeks, like I wanted to end on um, a chapter. Okay. So that's what Kathy, I. Kathy, I'm going to need your help. You said 120 pages. I can't stay <laughs> still that long, Kathy. I need help. Okay, what can I do? Can you help I me can break this down? I send you an audio book. Okay. I, could, I already broke it down. <laughs> I'll send you the breakdown of that, too. I did break it down, but I have a hardcover and you have a soft cover. Yes. So it's a little bit different. I sent a shipment of books here for mm -hmm. everybody else on the team. So Jesse is going to look at the book, look at what I broke down, and match it up for us. Okay, so, so I'm going to have help that. again, too, basically. You are. Okay, well, great, Kathy. I'm we excited. didn't learn that lesson just for this book. Yeah, we, we did. We learned we're that gonna, lesson for... We're, we're going to apply it to yes. all of our books. Yes. Okay, Kathy. And what do you want us to take away from this read? With me, with our viewers, what do you want us to take I mean, away? You know, our, our theme is uplifting marginalized voices. And my whole thing is building empathy through the discussion of inclusive books. So I'm hoping that we build empathy with different peoples by reading about different cultures. We had indigenous culture mm -hmm. here, and now we have Asian culture here. So looking at different aspects of different people and just kind of building our own team. Yeah, well, yeah. Kathy, thank you. Now, is there anything that you would like to leave our viewers with about our upcoming read? We will not start until 620. Okay, so 620. People, because we're both out next yeah, week. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to New Orleans next week, so I will not be talking about this book. Um, but if people can get the book now, okay. they can get it at a discount on our website, and they can start now. That way they're ready when we come back on the 20th. Right, we're ready to rock this. Yes. All righty, Kathy, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. We're going to get this pulled up on the screen so that viewers can have more information. For more information on Brain Layer Books, check out your screen. You can visit their website at brainlayerbooks.com or you can give them a phone call at 574-207-6514 and you can check them out on Facebook.